Supernova Style Science News with Jelly Seven Sage. The classification of dinosaurs has just been turned on its head, or should I say, the right side up. Matthew G. Barron and David B. Norman of the University of Cambridge, as well as Paul M. Barrett of the Natural History Museum in London, has changed the classification entirely when Barron was studying early Ornithischians, like the Eocursor, and he noticed how they had theropodish features. Theropods are dinosaurs that are on a separate branch of the family tree, which were thought to be unrelated. Mr. Barron decided to check the classification system. He spent three years looking for 457 anatomical features in 74 different species fossils at museums. Then, he used a computer program called Tree Analysis Using New Technology, or TNT, where he input all his data and the program organized the dinosaurs into different possibilities of family trees. Then, it provided the best fit for the data given. The program compared 32 billion possible tree formations. It took just five minutes to complete. The previous classification that has been around for almost 130 years split Dinosauria into two branches, classified by the shape of their hips. The first branch is bird-hipped, or Ornithischia, which consists of dinosaurs like the Eocursor, but also armor types like Stegosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and even Triceratops. The second branch is Lizard-hipped, or Cerischia, which then separates into two more branches. The first branch are the Seropodomorphs, where the massive long-necked dinosaurs are, like the Diplodocus. And the second branch are the theropods, like the Tyrannosaurus rex, and a smaller group of theropods called the Herrerasaurids, like the Herrerasaurus. The data showed that the group Ornithischia and theropods share a lot of similarities, so this data suggests that they should be put together, and Mr. Barron is calling the group Ornithocelida. Now, the Dinosauria branch is split into the Ornithocelida branch and the Cerischian branch. The Cerischian branch now contains the Seropodomorphs and the smaller meat eaters with lizard hips, the Herrerasaurids. At first, Mr. Barron and his colleagues didn't believe it, so they started trying to force the program to spit out the old classification. They had to take out 20 different traits for the program to give them the old family tree. With this renovated tree, the dinosaurs are more grouped up by bird-like features like beaks and feathers, and reptilian-like features. How come this all changed so drastically? Well, today in biology, we classify more using DNA, but dinosaur DNA decayed a long time ago. So scientists have to try to group dinosaurs based on features like hip shapes. More features viewed and compared means better results, something that was hard without computers. But this isn't all. They are looking at whether dinosaurs started in the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere. It has been hypothesized for a long time that dinosaurs started in South America. Mr. Barron thinks that they found a possible first dinosaur that started the Dinosauria branch. It is the Saltipus, what means hopping foot, and it lived in an area of northern Pangaea that today is Scotland. Also, the study shows that dinosaurs could have started more at a time of 257 million years ago, instead of 231 to 243 million years ago. This family tree hasn't been accepted as the norm, but a lot of paleontologists really like this theory of the new family tree, because it groups dinosaurs in a way that makes much more sense, even if it means now every dinosaur book is wrong. Check out the links below for more information. Follow us on Twitter at supernova underscore style for more news, and show your supernova style.